Hi, my name is Helen Arney. I am a musical comedian and I used to be a physicist uh, once upon a time, uh, which is why Robin asks me to come and <laughs> sing some silly songs. <laughs> so I'm fully qualified in this area. Uh, the song I did tonight um, is a song, uh, it doesn't really have a name, I think it's called Animals, uh, but it's a song that I put in my last Edinburgh show, which is... Um, the chorus is let's make love like animals. Um, so yeah, give us a couple of bars. Uh, let's make love like animals. <laughs> yeah, that kind of it's that, but a bit less wow. jazz. Uh, <laughs> Suddenly got very warm yeah. in here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. um, so uh, it's it's a it's a, it's a love song for uh, lovers of the Key Stage Three Natural Sciences curriculum. Basically, it's a biologically accurate love song. So uh, I wrote it as um, a song to help you woo someone who is of a very uh, rational and scientific mindset. So it uses language that they can understand. So it's all about your behaviour. And it's not so much about love, it's more about sort of uh, zoology textbooks. Oh, amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's a very silly Not song. something that fits on Hallmark cards necessarily, but... Doesn't necessarily. Although I have seen um, a, a whole display cartoon uh, of anglerfish and how they... It's, it basically just... I'm giving the, giving the song away. Well, I might as well because it's uh, not available to buy, so I might as well tell you what it is. Um, yes, it describes lots of different ways that animals uh, mate and attempt to procreation and anglerfish are quite interesting because they uh, smell each other from a very far distance. Uh, the male smells the female who is much 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 bigger than the male and the male swims towards the female for days and days and days following the trail and eventually they um, attach themselves to the side of the female with their teeth and that actually reaction of biting releases an enzyme that then dissolves their entire body apart from their genitals which are left on the side of their body. Um, so that when the female is in a position of maturity and a geographical location in which they can reproduce, they basically have um, all the facilities uh, and several fish will attach themselves, several male fish will attach themselves to a female uh, over time and eventually very, very old anglerfish, female anglerfish, um, are just covered in balls. <laughs> That is probably one of the best stories I've heard in a long time. Oh, it's not a story, well, facts. It's, and, it's, Excellent. and it's in a song. There Excellent. you go. And it's a song. Brilliant. I would buy that. 100%. <laughs> um, did you enjoy doing the show? And what, how did you feel being part of the lineup? It's great. It's absolutely great. It's such a privilege uh, for Robin to ask me to do these gigs. I've, I've played in the orchestra for two or three years now um, in Martin White's Mystery Facts Machine Orchestra. And uh, I play oboe. That's my other thing I do. Uh, and it's finally fantastic. To, I've been working on these songs for ages and ages, and uh, Robin's very, very kind to let me to come and uh, and play one or two of them this week. Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Been great. brilliant. I've got one to do tomorrow about a laboratory Christmas party, uh, which is another love song for scientists. I just do love songs for geeks, pretty much. That's what I do. It's my job. <laughs> that is very to sweet. do it. I'm pretty happy that about this very sweet. situation. Yeah, I wish you can buy my Christmas album if I'm allowed to plug in. If you yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Cut that. You no, know, no, no. What's your website? Uh, it's helenarney.com and you can buy my Christmas album. Fantastic. So finally, with the Christmas around the corner, um, how do you celebrate it? Uh, <laughs> I go home to visit my parents and uh, my sisters if they're around, um, usually for as short a period uh, as possible. Um, I won't go into the whys and wherefores, but the, the just the title of my Christmas album is It's Going to Be an Awkward Christmas Album. It um, gives you an idea of um, our Christ family Christmases. I, um, yes. uh, I enjoy going to visit my parents more at other times of year because there isn't any pressure uh, and there's none of that sort of controlled and expected fun. Uh, but saying that, I think I'm a massive pessimist and I do always enjoy uh, Christmas more than I expect to, almost in spite of Christmas and everything it entails, it is possible to have a good time uh, in your own way. Yeah. Well, a very Merry Christmas to you. And you. Thank you.